Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. <laughs> and tonight we're going to be playing some Jaguar <laughs> games, including two world premieres. Very exciting. Let's put this over by Bernie. Hello, Bernie. There you go. You can sit there. <laughs> <laughs> tonight we're going to be playing Backlash and Encounter, both by... Lauren Stavely, Excellent. Cyrano J, who is in the chat hey. tonight, so you can answer any of your questions about these two games Excellent. that are going to be uh, released soon. Okay, good. At PRGE, in fact. Uh, we're also going to be playing uh, Blockum Sockum, which is also done by Cyrano J, Lauren nice. Stavely. Very nice. Um, uh, in cooperation with John Hancock, the immortal John Hancock. Nice. I'm sure most of you out there have heard of him. <laughs> And uh, also, at the end, we're going to be playing a game called Flappy Chicken. Flappy, Flappy Chicken. Chicken. Which Cute. is a game? <laughs> maybe. It's maybe We'll a game. see if it's a game. All right. Hi, kittens. The kittens are very excited for the show. Yes, they are. Not for the same reasons you're excited, because you guys don't want treats. They do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. <laughs> Meow. That's right, Mark yeah. Kessler. <laughs> who help support the show and keep these cats fed with treats. Uh, Al Nafar Arkham H, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Beef Supreme, BR Poker, Kefman, 2D, Chelston, Mal, Charles Wynn, Chitlala, Colonel Lamb, Dinoid, Dan C, Drexel, Dr. Mukaz, Gamma Dev, Glenn Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Joe Rapp, Johnny W.C. Kiology, Cotton Jennings, Invader, Crocker, Developer, Lambda Express, Lone Z, Markianus, Mark Space, Sigma, Atari, Mickey Mouse, Mike Sol, Michael Town, Miss Command, Mother 3, Miss... There's Zarno, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Neo Media, Nostalgic Hog, RC70, Render Goes for Penalist, Video Ricardo, Pimp, Spledge Hammer, Smitty B, Spice Warriors, Ramirez, The Teleprompter, The D Train, Tiki Dan K, Tarek, MD, Vex, or X, VVG Double Down, and X, Ken X. Uh, thank you so much for those who subscribe to the show and support us. It's wonderful. <clears throat> And happy wine and cheese day. Do you if, have wine? If I had known, I would have come prepared. With wine, but she I has beer. beer. <laughs> Cerveza. Yes. What is it? Sol. Sol. Sol Mexican Cerveza. beer. Mm. Uh, I do have a poll question. Oh, Zeph's just seen the new signage and expressed appropriate awe. Yeah. It is a wonderful and beautiful and yeah. backlights our head with uh I think we need to change color. Look at that. the whole like interior oh of this room and just go full neon? on like neon Miami just, in the 80s. Just huge color on the ceiling beaming Ugh. down at us with multicolors. I'll get some pastel color pe power suits and uh it works well in your shirt too. It's it's a white shirt so it's bouncing the yeah. colors off that. <laughs> yeah. And through my hair. Yeah. Look at my hair. Tron it up. Yes. Great. <laughs> I, love I love it. It love does it. look really good. Are you going to show it off again? Do some flashy, flashy and change the colors? No. Okay. Uh, we, you can do that later. Chan Hammer <laughs> ambient music. <laughs> um, we do have a poll question tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, let me get that going. Is that working? Yay, it's working this oh. week. Poll question. How many modern aftermarket controllers do you have? Made by the community, made by somebody out there for some of your Atari systems. You know, like the plethora I have in front of me, which we'll talk about in a, in a bit. Uh, the options are one, none. Mm. You just use old school ones. And this does not include old school third party. This is modern aftermarket. Um, not released in the 80s or the 90s. It's like, you know, 2000 plus or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for all systems. Remade Pro Controllers, 100%, they count, 100%. <laughs> um, those are aftermarket modern controllers, mm -hmm. yep. Um, two, one to two, three, three to five, uh, four, six to 10, and five, 11 plus. I'm gonna have to go with five. <laughs> beer beer uh, Pocock, for all systems, five, five, five. <laughs> five, 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 five. Just a room full the of controllers yeah. for everyone. <laughs> Good point. If the remade Pro Controllers count, it would be more like three. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Well, you can use your own rules, but I, I would say for all all systems, mm. you can count ColecoVision and Television. Yeah. Of course, Atari systems yeah. as well. Um, mail, news, and feedback. Originally, I was going to say Atari Age has 7,800 uh, game drives for sale. Um, but then oh. I had to change it because they sold out. Oh, no. <laughs> they were all... Oh, no, they, that was quick. <laughs> yeah. So Stone Age Gamer put their 7800 game drive for sale this morning at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, all 50 units sold out uh, within minutes. 
And then Atari Age got 50 units yesterday. And uh, I'll put them up on the website today at 10 a.m. And they sold out. Thank you so much for subscribing, Buffalo Pinball. Oh, and also, thank you, Carl G. and Rendered Ghost for resubscribing before the show Very started. Nice. Very nice. Gamma Dev, yes, they do have to be able to control an uncertified submersible. Uh, uh, sure. <laughs> Uh, that Darcy would like that. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Oh uh, no, but you know, with the Ocean Gate, they oh, there was some comment. God. What they were using, that, like a it was a PS, uh, PS three three controller or something. PS yeah. four third party. Good controller. reference. Good reference. Very good reference. Too soon. <laughs> yes. um, Too soon, says Carl G. <laughs> well, maybe if they were using the um, so they they went on sale yeah. at ten a.m. Okay. and sold out at two. So okay. they're up for four hours. They sold out. Um, I believe that's all the initial batch that okay. are coming out right now from Retro HQ. Okay. Um, there will be more. It's it's the initial launch right now. Um, and he said to me that, or not to me, but just in general. Oh, I, he said to me as well. That he's t sending them out to test them to make, not to test them, but just to put out a few. I'd say maybe a hundred to the various places mm -hmm. and waiting for feedback, you know, uh, things that are not working quite right. And I think the only one, <clears throat> the only thing he's had a problem with is some wiring, some aftermarket wiring on some 7800s that are interfering with the audio, but it was quickly fixed. Um, so, so far it's been pretty good. Okay. And uh, then we're going to have an interview with James nice. from Retro HQ, nice, nice. Saint, uh, coming up. Because um, he wanted to make sure the cartridge was working fully before we did his interview. Um, and we're going to be talking about um, using it with homebrew, mm -hmm. of course, because we're all about homebrew. Nice. Um, so the people who got the um, 7800 game drive... That's awesome yep. from Atari Age or um, from Stone Age Gamer this morning. Um, that's awesome. Mm. Um, ITC was saying the ones at Stone uh, Age Gamer went on sale at noon and were sold out in about five minutes. Five minutes, yeah. yeah. Very <laughs> fast. Yep. And the ones from uh, Stone Age Gamer included a digital copy of Ricky and Vicky. Okay. Um, nice. But if you didn't get it from Stone Age Gamer, you got it from Atari Age, you can still get... A digital copy to load on your 7800 game drive if you buy it from Steam um, because um, Saint has linked in the Atari Age forums how to extract the binary from the Steam version of Ricky and Vicky of Ricky and Vicky so oh. you can load it on the 7800 game drive because it's the only multi-cart I don't know what to call them carts multi-carts mm. SD based carts that mm -hmm. work with BUP audio that is from Ricky and Vicky. Okay. So that's a huge advantage of the 7800 okay. game drive. That's cool. Um, Portland Retro Gaming Atari Age booth. Look at that poster. I couldn't find it anywhere else, so I don't know where that... Oh, uh, it's Al Friday the 13th. There we Al go. I got that poster. That's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, it is Friday the 13th. Uh, Atari Age will... Let's make this bigger. Uh, that's too big. I like the there. fake folding lines too. That's oh, awesome. it's wonderful. Retro yeah, 70s stuff. poster. Atari Age will be, again be attending the annual Portland Retro Gaming Expo taking place this year, October 13th to 15th at the Oregon Convention Center. We'll have an even larger booth this year. The largest we've ever had at the show. And we'll have many new games available to purchase at the show as well as demos for upcoming ga games. The Atari Age booth will be located right near the main entrance. Yeah. Back to the main entrance yeah. again. Good. Thank goodness. <laughs> Last year, um, Atari Age booth was in the back by the loading dock. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. They got in someone's <laughs> bad graces. I don't know. <laughs> they've, they've apologized. Yeah. And, or whatever transgress has happened. <laughs> yeah. now they're back at the they're front. They're back at the front. Which is great. Yeah. Um, uh, so you can't miss it as you enter the show, which, nice. is, which is wonderful. That's excellent. Um, they, so they'll probably have one of the biggest booths, if not the biggest booth, because awesome. they always had a huge booth at, mm. at the Portland Retro mm. Gaming Expo. Mm, demos, check the shadows, Cyrano J says. Mm. Mm, what could that be in reference to? <laughs> um, yeah, it's taking place October the 13th, Friday the 13th. 
Saturday the 14th, Sunday the 15th. We'll be there for the whole thing this time. Um, and uh, he updated the list of games that they're working on for this year's show. These are still not guaranteed, but some of the na names have changed. So I'm going to read them out again. Okay. Uh, Berry Fun for the Atari 2600. Boom. Bot and Tom, which was not in the list last time. Mm. Karamuho, Electro Ball, Game of the Bear 2. Immunity. Mm. I don't know if Immunity was on there last time. I, I feel like it wasn't. I feel yeah. like that's new. Uh, Penult, uh, Quantum Tunnel, Robot Z. Finally, that's so awesome that that's coming out. Mm. Uh, AW and Multicart, Scorch. I don't know if Scorch was on there last time. RT for 7800, uh, Death Merchant, EXO, Harpy's Curse, uh, Million Molly, uh, Uzi the Goo Gaiden, uh, Plum Luck, Growing Ties Deluxe uh, for the Atari Lynx, Odenexus for Atari Lynx, Nova Gen Volume 1, which we'll be playing tonight, Yay! world premiere, and Rocket Ranger, also nice. from Cyrano J. Yes. Um, so uh, visit our uh, forum to discuss the show with other members, learn about the new games and demos while at the show. Hope to see many of you there. And speaking of that, we're doing the meetup again this year. Yay! So the Atari Age ZPH PRG meetup at Ground Control. Yes. Again, it'll be on Saturday night. Yes. Well after the uh, floor closes. Mm. Um, so floor closes at 5 or 5.30, and we're going to meet up there at 8 p.m. to closing. Um, it's at Ground Control, which is a great art barcade uh, in Portland. 15-minute mm -hmm. uh, um, ra light, rail, light yeah. rail transportation. So that's right across from the Oregon Convention Center. Mm -hmm. You don't need to have a car. If you're there, you can make it to the uh, barcade. Yep. Oh, Mike's old. Yeah, I hope to get immunity ready. I need to work in the manual. Excellent. There you go. <clears throat> Exciting. Uh, and uh, and Al will be joining us if Yay! he's not burnt out. And I said we'll be helping him set up so that he can uh, have uh, have chances of having some cognitive abilities left right. to yes. hang out on Saturday night. You don't need cognitive abilities. No. You need a beer just, just and need just to pick there. a game. <laughs> and... You need to lessen your cognitive abilities yeah. with the beer. That's right. Um, so if you want to join us, uh, that's awesome. Uh, put your name down there or just show up as well. So, uh, very looking forward mm -hmm. to that this year. Um, and related to the poll question, uh, the pricing and interest thread check, Atari Jaguar edition, VVG joystick controllers, Mark two, uh, this is posted by Double Down. I've finalized all the necessary details regarding the re recent Atari Jaguar arcade stick controller. This one. Mm -hmm. um, there it is. There's a picture of it. Very nice. Um, I'm going to start making these available for anyone who's interested. I figure I start a new thread this for this. I'll start it all off with blah. They're small. They're the smallest and most affordable models that I can or will offer. And thus, presumably, the models most desired by most. Most desired by most. <gasps> Spell it. Let's check it. you got to check what you're typing. Doubling up the words. There are some choices that will be available with regards to hardware, artwork, and the likes, which I will detail below. Uh, there's price, 345 USD. Not cheap, but it is super awesome. It's got all the basic buttons. Uh, he does offer... I don't know if he's selling it right now. There he is. He's oh. offering... The deluxe model with the six button emulation of the wow. controls, but it has to go in a bigger um, box. Okay. <laughs> and um, I opted big. for the smaller one because yes. Um, yes. The big ones are the big ones are big. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, the big ones are really very, nice very for nice. Look those at that red. I like it. Who play you know fighting games yeah. or games that you really want to use more buttons with? So it's got the. Um, trigger left and right trigger button emulation i believe on these um and six button controls so red screen of death edition <laughs> is that what it's called arcade pro controller mm -hmm. so it's got the jaguar which is really nice does the other one have jaguar nope no jaguar on this one has atari at the top um so he lists all the uh options double down is in the chat if you want to ask him <laughs> um and uh, I can attest, this is a great controller. I'm going to be putting it through its paces tonight for the yeah. first time. Oh, yeah, so that's So I'm very true. excited yeah. about that. Um, so you can get a live review of it right now. And I've, I've played with it a little bit here and there just to, like, test things out. But tonight will be, like, the big full playthrough with it. 
Um, let's see. And I think that's it for the news. Let's see how the poll is doing. Ooh. Uh, some people have none. They're OG. Pretty. They're using all the original controllers from back in the day. 15%. One to two. So a couple that yep. they bought. 25%. Three to five controllers, it's another twenty five percent. Yum 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 it's yum. It's treat time. Yum yum yum. Are you excited? Oh you are excited. Oh thank you, Mr. Zarnawoo. Thank you, Mr. Zarnawoo. These cats are very happy. And another fifteen percent, six to ten controllers. And another twenty percent, eleven plus. So a lot of people um really like their controllers. Yes. Meow meow meow. Meow meow meow. Ready? Are you ready? We gotta switch over. Gotta switch over to the cat cam. Get those cats ready. Are you primed? Are you ready? Are you ready to compete? Shut the door. Are you ready? Oh no! Oh my goodness! I dropped one. Oh no! No no! Pick no, it up! No no! Where is it? Pick it up if Atari gets it. Oh my goodness! Oh no! Disaster. Did you Where actually drop one? Yes, I did. Oh. Oh, I got it. <laughs> we don't want to slow Atari down unnecessarily. He already think well. Okay. Okay. Mr. Z Mrs. Zarnawoop says hi. I fed the cats oh, just for Oh, thank her. you, Mrs. Zarnawoop. <laughs> okay, cats. Are you ready? They're more than ready. Okay, All here right. we go. Go. Oh, Sprite is off to the races. Atari whooped his ass last time. Oh, there we go. A solid go. ring from Atari. Oh, Sprite is on the ball. Oh, oh my, my God. God. He caught it midair. He smacked it. Midair. Oh, who's that? That was Atari. Atari. Oh, okay. Good stuff. He's tied up now. Oh, oh, Sprite went for the wrong bell. There you missed, go. But he went for his correct bell. Go for and it. And got ahead. Go Three, for two. It. Kittens. Atari is it. not looking at it. He's just hitting the air. Look at oh, your they're, bell. They're, oh. oh. Oops. I think I messed Good up. Good kitty. Atari. Okay. Yeah. Sprite. There we go. They each got one. Yeah. I think they're tied now. Oh, yeah. I think they are. I, I messed up on. Um, there we Ooh. go. Atari, four, three. Four, four. Sprite, four, four. I was doing it backwards. Atari, five, four. Great stuff. They're both chewing lots of stuff in their mouth. Sprite ties it up, five, five. Atari, oh, I heard that. Yeah, I heard that too. Barely rang it. I was about to say no. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. What happened? It went under. He knocked it. Okay. Oh, Sprite is uh, distracted, there so it's go. all fine. Atari's still it was knocked out keeping of his it. lead. Oh, ding, ding. That only gets you one. Remember the rules. You cannot get two from two dings. You may think you can, but you cannot. Oh, oh, oh. Glanced it. Gets it will not one. stop Sprite from trying. Seven, yet. seven. We are coming around wow. the turn. Oh, Eight, seven for Atari. He is barely holding on to a lead. Oh, Sprite is close behind. Oh, oh, oh Atari missed. missed. Hitting a miss. Oh. oh, nice. Solid ring. It is game point for Atari. Is anybody's game right now? Oh, Sprite missed. They're stunned. Oh, and oh, oh. Sprite brings it. All right. Still, game now it's point. tied. It's game point nine out of Atari. Oh, wins. Atari. Good kitty. Thank you, Rod Kessler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For subscribing. Here you oh go. My. Consolation prize for you, Sprite. Wow. What a race. What happened? What a race. <laughs> that was a good one. Watch out. Watch your butt. Go Atari. Watch your butt. Watch your butt. Watch your whole body. Watch. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 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 What? That was tight. What a right game. Right down to the end. It was very, very close. Atari win two nights in a row. That is right. Good Atari. Come here. Get a good Good kitty. Good kitty. Yeah. Good kitty. You show that young whippersnapper over there. That's right. Yeah. You're still the boss of this house. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, perfect timing because it's time for the first game. Um, so, the first game is... Backlash, this is exclusive world premiere by Lawrence Staveley, Cyrano J, first posted about in the forums July 20th. Uh, this build is from July 7th. That's when I was past it. It's a four meg game. Uh, it'll be part of a combination cartridge that's going to be sold at Portland Retro Gaming Expo Ooh, very nice. for the first time. Rando drug test. <laughs> yeah, he's got to submit. We may take away. 
No, I don't think he's on any drugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a good cat. Mm -hmm. So there's, here's what Cyrano J posted Thursday announcing Novagen Volume 1, a new compilation of games to be released at PRGE and then shortly after via the Atari Age store featuring Backlash and Encounter. To me, Paul Wokes was a coding god and has been an honor to work on bringing these games mm. to the Jaguar. Um, so these are two games um, by the same developer. And um, so what, uh, do, 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 do. what we're going to do is we're going to be playing Backlash first. Backlash, okay. And I need to boot it up. I can't show you guys part of this. <laughs> Sorry. Does it give it away? Uh, no, it's just not 100% um, finalized, so I can't really oh, okay. show everything right you now. You have to kind of get to the game first. I have to get to the game. Okay, fair enough. But that's fine. Um, so we'll just keep it off the screen until we get to a certain point, and then I will switch over. Um, and in the meantime... We'll play. Mute the, mute the video game for a second. Exclusive world premiere. Ooh. That's right. Okay, let's see. We'll get past this one. So we're playing. Backlash first. There we go. Now I can switch over. Yay. Backlash, programmed by Paul Wokes. Graphic data, Mo Warren. Warden. Oh my god. We went to my... <laughs> oh, well. Here you go. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll read a bit about it. Okay. I should figure out how to play it, so. Yep. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, gameplay consists of arcade-style, fast and frantic reflex action from a first-person perspective, much akin to Atari's coin-op battle zone, and programmer Paul Wokes' earlier and very similar game, Encounter. This game takes place on a seemingly endless flat landscape. Littered with obstacles in the form of pseudo-3D spikes protruding from the ground, armadas of hostile UFOs shoot fireballs from you at every direction. Your aiming rectangle is in the center of the display and is surrounded by a circular radar, can't see it yet, which is formed by a series of small white dots. Uh, within this are numerous red dots, which represent the UFO enemies. You are dealt with initial five lives and you score points for each UFO destro destroyed. The game features environmental effects such as day turning to night and vice versa. Nice. So you know, Jay says forward, back, left, right, shoot. Yeah. Excellent. Um, <laughs> I can handle that. <laughs> and I think you can go ahead and okay. jump right into it. So just uh, see, there's your circle. And some enemies will show up. There you go. So the red, avoid that. You can shoot their bullets. Ah, where'd they go? Make sure you move around because bullets will just keep going straight at you. you move. There you go. Shoot that guy. Oh, you oh ran right past him. Oh, nice. Got him. Okay, uh, Nova, let's, let's learn about Novagen, of which both of these games come from. Uh, Novagen Software was a British software developer which released a number of computer games on a variety of platforms in the mid-1980s to early 1990s. Get them. I'm not sure. Ah, what am I attacking? These things you just passed, I think. So you can see your radar there. Not that. That's the thing in the ground. Oh, it got me. Oh, 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 there you go. That's Shoot. where it comes from. Ah! Well, you shot his bullet. Just in time. Ah! <laughs> Back off a bit. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm just getting used to it. Uh, the company was set up by Paul Wokes and Bruce Jordan and employed approximately 18 people. In addition to running Novagen, Paul Wokes also developed and programmed a vast majority of company products and the first version of a custom loading scheme that worked 10 times faster than Commodore's own, which became Nova Load. I haven't heard of that. Uh, the games they made, uh, Encounter, Mercenary, Mercenary Second City, Mercenary Compendium Edition, uh, it was Mercenary and Second City, Backlash, Battle Island, Hellbent, Damocles oh, Mercenary 2, Damocles Mission 1, 
Mission Disc 1, Damocles Mission Disc 2, Damocles Compendium Edition, which just encompasses his other ones. Encounter and Mercenary 3. Uh, unfortunately, Paul Wilkes passed away uh, on July 15, 2017, so um, uh, six years ago, the age of 64. So the game we're playing right now, uh, Backlash, was released on uh, the Amiga and the Atari ST. So this is a conversion from the Atari ST version. Get it? So your bullets kind of, you're kind of throwing them and then they bounce. So you can actually throw them over the top of something. Can I get this thing or no? No, no, it's not. It's kind of bouncing over it. It's a lot faster than Battlezone for sure. Yeah. Cyrano says, keep thumping fire. Oh, we got me. Oh, you can just hold it. Excellent. <laughs> so when Lawrence posted about Backlash and Encounter um, on Twitter, uh, somebody said, uh, somebody named Welsh Warrior said, as it's volume one, let's guess for volume two. <laughs> and Lawrence said, only mercenaries would be so hell-bent on rushing things. Could that be a hint? Maybe? Less wireframe, too. Yeah. Oh. You got it. I don't know if I take that one. Oh, I like it. Uh, ah, I got uh, me. And back up. Game over. Very cool. <laughs> How's the joystick? <laughs> good. good. Very, very good. Got him. You can. I. I. I didn't quite realize you can. Got him. The ret retic reticle yep. reticule in the middle reticle. tells yep. you where they are around you. Oh, See. Split. See, it's behind you. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, okay, you need to find them. Oh, yeah. And there watch. he is, the white one. Oh, you did get him. Yeah, I just need to be the right distance away. Yeah. And different things are at different heights. Yeah, which is hard with the, the ball, the, the fire shot, because it goes up and down, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, I got it. Ah, everything's bouncy. It's so funny. All the bullets are bouncy. I like it. The floor is made of uh, rubber. Um, yeah, they go up and down in height. Very interesting. Okay. Oh, got it. It's making a lot of noise. This makes a boss. Since it's making noise on the radar. Mm -hmm. I think staying in one position is very bad because yeah, they're it is, probably they'll, shooting they for are, you. You can see the red shots coming for you from behind. Too. Right, so if you stay in one place. Yeah, it's going to get you. It's definitely going to get you. Yeah, that, That's very cool. Fire and Rapley looks like fun. It is. It is. Like, you feel powerful in this game. Straight across the... Because they do not shoot as fast as you. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's more of them, so it kind of mm -hmm. equals out. Oh, somebody over here is shooting. Oh, nope. Oh. It's nice you can shoot their bullets. And they're going slow enough that... Yeah, I'm just gonna... there you go. Oh, it's night time. Night time. Well, this might actually help. Dusk. It got you. I didn't see it on the radar. Uh, Look at the bullets now. Objects they look in awesome. Mirror, closer in the mirror. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew, pew. This 200% scratches the arcade itch. Yes. Oh, yeah. Very arcade. Evening pseudo graphics. Oh, oh, yes. Firing like slow crazy enough, yeah. on <laughs> I like I like the the shots, the fire Not shots. Listening to that noise. I also kind of feel it. It, it reminds me a bit of like throwing koosh balls. <laughs> yes, they are. They look soft and bouncy, <laughs> but uh, they're not soft. Mm -mm. They're good. Of course, the reticle kind of gets covered up when there's a lot of chaos. Yeah, it is hard to see where things Ooh, are. There it is coming from. Oh, oh, it's oh. like a homing missile. That's why it's getting me each time. Ah. Oh God, it's coming. Where is it? Ah! Ah! There it is. Okay. There it is. 
Goofball Battle Zone. That actually sounds like a lot of fun. It does. With real people. Like if you could somehow track it like a laser tag, oh, but it's yeah. with cooch balls and everybody has a you just have a big basket of basket cooch of balls. cooch balls. You can pick them up. Oh, I backed into that one. Damn it! One life left. Oh. Yeah. So that noise, it does come at you at oh, the Nostalgic height. Oh, Nostalgic says I think that very rapid shooting is an enemy trying to shoot at you through a cone obstacle. So someone's tr hitting a cone obstacle because it makes that noise. Oh, okay. So it's not necessarily a homing bullet. No. That's what Nostalgic says. No, it, it definitely is a homing. Is it? And luckily, it comes at you at the height of your bullets. So as long as you're on track to... As long as you're um, facing it, I found it's pretty easy to get, but you have to be facing it. It's like it's exploding on it. Something's going crazy. Oh my goodness, there's a Ugh. lot around. Yeah, this dusk time is getting a lot more hectic. There's a lot more around. Oh like boy. Like there's there's something that's shooting like five straight up in a, in a row, like five shots. Uh, oh, like an shot. explosion yeah. almost into the Yeah, it goes sky. one, two, three, four, five. Might, might be. Serenos says, I've always loved this game. It's a complete mess of explosions it's and movement. It's, it's great. Oh my god, what? what yeah, is, five in a oh row. My god. Something's Who's shooting. That? Who's that? Who's shooting? Oh, there These it is. These guys. There okay, you go. I gotta go. Here we go. Deadly. Oh god. Where is it? There it is. Okay. A lot of stuff shooting there it is. Oh my god. I don't think it shows up on the radar. I just gotta look around for it. Can't see anything on the radar. Oh, yes. one guy left. This game there. looks like Space Harrier 2. Yeah, it's a kind of a free uh free form space harrier. Mm. Because in Space Harrier you're you're kind of always going forward. Mm. But this one is fully 2D. I mean, it has a feeling of 3D because your bullets go up and down. Um, but really, it is. You're moving on a 2D plane, but you don't really feel it. It feels very 3D. Yeah. It's, it's like um, Doom, where it's 2.5D, right? But feels um, 3D enough to give me that feeling. Like, oh. You came out of the wrong place. Oh god. Where is it? Where is it? Oh my god, is that it? It's, oh, it's too close for me to shoot it! As soon as I move, I die. Run. Oh, it got you. It was it was too close. That is so funny. That, but I was at the exact same speed as it. That was really weird. Really the ability to shoot their bullets is pretty awesome. Is awesome and necessary. They're almost they're they're more like um, cannon shot or something than yeah, bullets. Like, like cannon I, balls, I, uh, cannonballs, fiery cannonballs, fiery bombs. But they they're oh, not really bombs. Oh my god! Oh there it is. It is on the radar. Is it? It's just I'm shooting like crazy. Oh, you can make. Oh look. When you shoot the pillars, it explodes into chaos. Yeah, it does. Chaos. Someone's shooting oh at you God. a lot. He's shooting as much as I can now. Where is he? Oh! oh I didn't Molotov Koosh Balls. <laughs> Molotov Koosh Balls. Somebody's wow. got to name a weapon in a game that. Delivery? Mm. Maybe. Maybe. I'm going to go check. Okay. Sometimes yeah, we just heard a big thunk. It sounded like something got thrown on the uh, at the front door. <laughs> this for next door. Was it? Not for us? No. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Zero points. Oh, Yay, shot anything. There we go. This is awesome. So much fun. <laughs> oh my god. 
Very frenetic. Uh, when I play Battlezone, I spend most time moving backwards. Does it work in this game too? I you found can. myself moving backwards a lot as well. It's like incredible. I was Going trying to in a figure circle out. is not good. I know, I was trying to figure out where <laughs> the dude again. was. Well, Did I want to face him yeah. so I can shoot him. Oh, there he is. Um, and the thing is, you you kind of have to stop shooting at some point because you can't see things on your radar. And you have to keep get moving, him. too. Get him! Get him! For God's sakes, get him! Back up. Back up. Yeah. Is that better? Well, you have to be at a certain distance. There, we, I got him finally. Because of the bounce, the arc of your bullet. Oh, yes. So yeah, somebody would mention Scorched Earth. Sounds like it would be from Scorched Earth. Yeah, somebody mentioned Scorched Earth because it's got a trajectory of your bullets, just like in Scorched Earth, except you, you can't control the arc in this one. Come on, get him! Oh. Uh, Blaster's coming after you, you guys. Oh. I guess not. Thought I heard something. I thought so too. I think something was hitting. Hitting one of the holes. Pyramids. Do not stand still, they will lock on. Oh, oh that's why it's the standing still that gets you. Ah, you got yeah, me. I saw that one coming. Check. It's a bit loud. So Tanya and I ran a 5K. Yes, we did. On Sunday. It was pretty rough. Very rough. <laughs> I'll explain why. Well, at least wow. for me, it was even, it was very rough. Oh, it's coming. It's behind you. Oh, oh. it's on you. Yeah, it's a flashy red and white, uh, black and white on the radar. Hmm. Um, well, I was I was running for a while in the early in the year. Then a cat bit me. Yeah. And that took me out for qu quite a while. Shocking amount of time, actually. And by, and by the time I was able to run again, we went to Las Vegas, and which I couldn't run because it was super hot there, and I wasn't prepared to run in Vegas because we were doing things. And uh, then it got. Really huh? hot here. I don't understand what this thing is yeah. that goes for you. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Just watch your radar. Yeah, It'll it be flashes. Flashing, I uh, see. White and black. Um, then it got really hot here. And then I got sick for two weeks. Yeah. And then I had like half a week before the run yeah. after that. It was so it was a 5K, a cat. Anyone we know? You, you wouldn't know him. His name's Atari. It's, it's <laughs> um. He wouldn't know him. <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's a cat from Canada. <laughs> um, oh, you made it into dusk. Nice. Ooh, that was close. My cat from Regina, is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah. Oh. Eh, not Did bad. better. Did better that time than the last one. He is a real jerk. He is a real... <laughs> yes. Especially when his foot is caught. Yeah, this sounds like Destiny telling you something. <laughs> so, before I usually... I usually get under 30 well, that's, uh, minutes. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's what I always aim for. Yeah. My, my big goal is under 25. Yeah. That was not going to happen this year. No. Under 30 wasn't going to happen this year. I'm going to like try again. Um, I did about what I expected to do. Um... But I was also surprised I was able to do it mm. at the same time. I think I got 20, uh, 36 minutes. Yeah. S somewhere around 36 minutes. Yeah. But so yeah. I was happy with that, given everything. Um, it was got, hot. It was a hot day, oh, too. It was hot, and they started was, the race a little late. And they were supposed to start at 9.30, and they ended up starting at past 10. Oh by that, And it was all running by the beach yeah. in full sun. Which is nice. But, but quite warm. Like it was warmer than I thought it was. Only gonna be. tiny bits of shade here and there. Yeah. Anyway, we're pretty we're pretty weak when it comes to that stuff. But um, uh, not not great with the the crazy hot weather. But okay. it was fun. Okay, it is. And and we were both incredibly tired afterwards. Oh so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very tired. I'm fully recovered. I think I'll be able to run tomorrow. Maybe Atari did have a bet against James. That's possible. <laughs> oh, I see. That's the over-under on me. Uh, yep. 
Okay, where are these guys? I'm not paying attention to my radar. Yeah. Anyway, we have another run in September, so <laughs> we have another it, shot at getting better. It's September. Yeah. Okay, that's not too bad. Not mm -hmm. too far away. Mm -hmm. But it kind of kicked me into gear. Mm -hmm. It's like it forced me to do 5K. <laughs> um, some yeah, lots of noises outside. Kind of forced me into doing 5K. Um, which is good, because I'm now I'm just going to do 5k you can do it. from now on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Got to clean up right this area. Okay, yep. Okay, there we go. Let's see what are. Does this just like look like chaos on the stream? Yeah. <laughs> like just <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> bullets everywhere, chaos. Oh, made it. Oh, God. Where is it? I can't see it on the radar. There it is. <laughs> so dangerous. It's great. It's great. It's great. Good oh, job, Serena. <laughs> it's a homing missile. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can get it on. Oh, my God. Yeah, Good. stand still for long. They will lock on. Yeah. Craziness is happening there. Okay. There's a bunch. Good tips. This is a lot of fun. This is it's really, really, so really fun. And it fun. does feel it's so good. arcadey. It does. Yeah. There's nothing but firing. Like, it's pure arcade action. Oh, yeah. I just made it work. Mr. Wokes was just years <laughs> yeah. ahead of his time. Yeah, there you go. Well, I don't think I read out what year this was. I think it's 86, 87 for this one. Oh, for this game? Yeah. Like the the original? Yeah, for the Atari ST release. Atari it. ST, gotcha. And Amiga. Somebody over there lobbing. Oh, my God. Oh, first death. I do Not like the bad. death screen with the flashing colors. Very, Very retro. Very effective. Very nice. Very 2600, in fact. Yeah. Like, you could do that death screen on a 2600. Just with blocks of colors. It's wonderful. I wonder if it was a game like this that influenced Dynamix with their Stellar 7 and Nova 9 games for a PC back in the early 90s. Mm. Games I'm not aware of, but not, nope. Yeah, not familiar with those games. But I'm guessing they're similar. 3D-esque. Like if this was one of the first of this style, the Octone. I mean, it wasn't because Battlezone existed by the time. But one rapid of the first. Like a rapid fire. Oh my oh, god, what is happening behind, behind me? You. Something bad is behind me. Oh, hello. Those guys are good because they're kind of in the sky and you can get pretty close to them yeah. and shoot them, but they have a lot of bullets. Way too many. Oh, God, there is he. Oh, there he is. Got him. I think. Sounds like he did. Okay, there's a guy over there. Backlash is an unofficial sequel to Encounter. Yeah, we're playing the second oh. one first, actually. But the release but was released before Encounter on the ST. Oh, okay. So I'm doing them in the right order for the Atari ST mm. releases. Because this was, um, one of these was on, I think on the 8-bit, the Atari 8-bit, uh, which is the other game. Yes, this was never on the Atari 8-bit, this, this game. As far as I could tell in my research. Come on. Encounter, encounter was on the 8 bit. Right. Mm. And there's a bunch of guys here. Let's go out this way. I can't imagine. Probably the next level, two homing missiles are coming at the same time. It's there. Yeah. Right. Nice and early. Oh my god, it's chaos. Chaos. Let's go. These two guys. Really have to go far back to get the guys on the ground. Mm. Who's shooting from over here? Oh my god! Oh, so much so shot! I'm it's gonna insane. die in a few seconds. Oh there's my too many guys. Oh, there's ton of them. Tons of them. Uh, oh, to, uh, oh! I know it's just too many bad guys on the yeah. screen. Nice and clear right now. For the time being. I just want to make it to the next level. It's dark. Like fully oh. dark? I'm oh, sure. Here it comes. Come on. It is. Good job. 
another one. Oh my god. Got it. It seems to be easy to hit it when you're facing it. Very, like it has to be. Yeah. You're gonna die otherwise. so easily otherwise, so it's very smart of them to make it at the right level. The scout that says I'll be seeing spinning diamond explosions in my dreams tonight. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the colors, the simplicity of the... Oh, there's something to your left. Those guys, those guys shoot oh. a, a stream of like a wall of them. bombs at you. Oh my god. Yeah. Cool. Like the simplicity of the play field is necessary. Yeah, for almost. the complexity of everything else that's going on. Exactly. Good job. Um, because if there's a lot of stuff on the screen, you just mm -hmm. you just wouldn't be able to tell what's going on. So, uh, you just asked, when will this game release? And Sir Cyrano, I think you mentioned before, at PRG. Portland Retro Gaming Expo yep. will be your first opportunity to buy this. And check it out, too, because there's promises of a huge setup <laughs> with tons and tons of consoles at the Atari Age booth. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, oh. oh, I thought I got them all. I think I backed into a bullet. Oh, these guys. These guys are brutal. Look at how many bullets are coming from them. Where is he? But you have to face them. Yeah. Or, I mean, you always face their bullets because they're always shooting at you. Wow. Yeah, Nostalgic says, I'm impressed that even with all this movement and chaos, there's no apparent slowdown. Um, there's, there's the smallest amount when, the, when it was very, very full with enemies at one point in the last game I played. But I didn't feel any of this game. Um, it's got a Jaguar boost over the ST. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't... I haven't really... I haven't been able to um, see any slowdown okay. in this turn. Oh, God. It's there. Get him, get him. Can I go into the nighttime mode? I think I killed everybody. No. Oh, God. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, there's two or three Went from there. nothing That's to, why. like, 500 at once. Where are you? Oh. It's just too many. Two more lives. I knew it. I knew one was coming out of there. I'm behind you now. Oh, God. It's concentrating on killing me. Well, no. no I'm just emerging all over the field. Whoa. Oh. Who is that? How is he strafing? Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, I see how he's not strafing. He's just got a wide shot. That's brutal. Oh God, how do I even get? Oh, where's it? Oh my! Oh God. my goodness! <laughs> Thankfully, it was at the exact right distance yeah. this time. Oh my, oh my goodness! God. That's how hilarious. That's terrifying. Oh, it just there's a straight bump on the other one. Oh, it's coming. Oh, I see. Facing the other direction. Come on. Where are you? Oh, I'm there. there it is. Yeah, this these is... guys just strafe outwards. Oh, that is insane. Yep. Wow. Oh, another guy. There it is. There it is. Yeah, you have. Oh, I made it! Woo, it's, hey, it's, it's green uh... planet. Green grass. Yes. It's dawn. Yeah. Daytime, dusk, up. and dawn. Nice, I like the color. Did it clear out? Oh, okay. oh, oh boy. Now what? Is it every ten thousand points? Oh no, because no. I didn't I didn't hit ten thousand points. So definitely that's not true. We would have been for on each the level. fourth iteration if it was every ten thousand. Well you've thirty thousand now. Because it'd be ten, twenty, thirty. Yeah. And we've only gone through two changes. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah it must be number of Guys destroyed, I think. Mm, maybe. Or or it could be at the mm. it could be at the thousands, but it just didn't change one one of the times. Come on. Come on. Oh he Whoa, it's got fast you right now. away. A lot of bullets and faster now. Fifteen thousand, maybe? Oh yes. 15, I don't think 000. I hit fifteen thousand though and I hit but level two, so I think maybe it's either time or guys hit. Do a better job of hitting. It is hard now to get the 
they're kind of protecting themselves with their bullets now. Yeah. Wow. Excellent. Wow. Oh, it's number of enemies killed. So. Number of enemies. Okay, that makes sense. Really, really crazy and hectic. Mm -hmm. So much fun. Now it is time for another exclusive world premiere. It is time for encounter. Da, 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 da. Uh, encounter. And we're going to take a look actually first at the Atari 8 bit version because we can compare it with the Atari 8 bit version because there was one. They're not antennas, they're for wrapping the cord. So you can uh, wrap yes. the cord around and keep it all wireless. All yeah, wireless. Um, Very nice. Compact when you're storing it, which is fantastic. It's a great addition. cord cleats. Yes. The cord cleats. Is that what they're calling called? that now? Cord cleats. So here's the nice. um, Atari 8-bit version of the game we're about to play. Encounter with an exclamation mark. Uh, there we go. Um, Encounter is a fast-paced arcade game set in the sci-fi environment which features fast-moving fast moving three-dimensional graphics you command a probe vehicle which you have to shoot down enemy saucers and homing missiles when you have shot down the required number of enemies on one level usually around 10 to 20 you get a chance to go through a stargate uh, in the stargate you have to navigate through a hail of spheres coming at you at high speeds if you succeed you get to a new planet in a different color scheme. If you fail, you have to replay the previous planet. There's eight levels in total. Uh, encounters a first person shoot 'em up video game released in 1983 for the Atari 8 bit family and Commodore 64. So that's the one we're looking at right now is the 8 bit version. Uh, programmed by Paul Wokes for Nova Jam Software. So this is the, what the Atari 8 bit uh, version of the game. You've got a radar at the bottom. The white guys. Yep. Explosion of diamonds. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that gives you a little taste. <laughs> oh, actually, uh, let's see the Stargate part. Yeah. Of it. I almost made it there. Oh, go back. So he shot all the enemies. Now he has to go through that uh, black gate. Dodge. And you dodge. All the asteroids and then you make it to the next level but if you hit an asteroid accidentally we'll see what happens um you go back to the same level Again, oh that's destroy sucks. The, yeah it does suck a lot and then you have to go back and destroy the enemies all over again that's no moon <laughs> quite impressed for 1983 yeah there you go you can get to the next level okay very similar. Very, in some ways. very similar in some ways. Yeah. Okay. So let's go back. Mm. Um, if you want to uh, load up, we need to get past a certain spot. Uh. Nova Gen Volume One. Uh, da, da, da. It was published in the UK and Europe by Synapse Software North America. Gameplay is similar to that of Atari and Atari's 1980 arcade game Battle Zone. Press button. I gotta mute this part. Just gotta mute it. <laughs> um, but with large, sometimes screen-filling, scaled bitmaps instead of wireframe mod uh, models. So that's kind of the um, upgrade to this. So pick encounter one. That was kind of a mushy <laughs> press. It was. Um, I think we can switch over now. There we go. Encounter! Okay. So I believe it's uh, button B to start. Looks a little bit better on the uh, on the Jaguar than the Atari 8-bit. Textures, good stuff. Shoot it! Ah, uh, run oh, away! That's a oh, shot. you can't shoot it. That's a shot. That's a shot. Oops. So you have to dodge their bullets in this one. A little bit different. Ah, run away! 
Uh, versions for the Amiga and Atari ST computers were followed much later in 1991. So, um, eight years after this was put out. It was all also re-released by Atlantis Software for the Atari 8-bit and Commodore 64 as a cassette budget title. Goals of encounters eliminate all the enemy saucers and kamikaze drones. Kamikaze drones, uh oh. In a flat level, enemies appear one at a time. Um, highlighted on the radar below in the main view. So you'll be able to use the radar again. But you do have to dodge their bullets. I'm, I'm, I'm having a bit of trouble figuring out what I'm, I'm actually shooting. Probably too far away from it. See? You have to get it in front of you. I know, but it, it moves. Well, I can't tell what's moving here. There it is. Oh, got it's it. It's a saucer. It was on the screen for okay. a second. I was just too far away. Yeah. This guy, where is he? Here's your radar. There you go. Yeah, but then I have to dodge the bullets. Oh, you're trying to go around? I can't go... I can't strafe side to side or anything, oh, so... I see. I have to kind of turn away from it. Uh, when the enemy counter reaches zero, so you've got 11 targets to get. Yeah. Oh, dangerous. Um, a portal opens containing obstacles to avoid to reach the next level. Oh, got me. Stayed too much in one place. Two shields left. So you've kind of got uh, tank treads on the side, very much like Battle Zone. Got this one has level indicator, shield indicator, and number of targets left. So kind of an upgrade in terms of ability to know how much more you have before you get to the next level. Can you shoot their shots? I think uh, you I are think shooting them. Know. I think that's the portals they come out of. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. So it opens up. They come out of the portal. And then it closes up again. And the radar isn't obscured. Ah, that's a good point. Yes, the radar is always visible. There he is. Way. Although I'm not, sh I couldn't find a manual for this, um, so I'm not sure what those colors at the bottom mean. Distance, I think. Because they are flashing and they are changing color. They're also different colored guys, yellow, blue, and red, so it might just be related to that. Uh, okay. It's yellow. BBG Double Down says, I like the framed screen. Reminds me of early CD-ROM titles that can fill the whole screen. Oh, you mean like um, um, encoded video, compressed video, and they played on a small screen because they really couldn't make it any bigger. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of nice. You're looking almost like through a portal. Okay. I don't know why the red's flashing. Now it's flashing again. It's the red guy. Oh. Oh. Now you go through the portal. So, it's just left and right to avoid the obstacles. And I would avoid moving too much left and oh right. Oh my god. Because things will come on your on your screen immediately if you go too much left and right. Let's do this all over again. Yes, you do. There's stuff kind of below you. Can you go up and down? Uh, mm, below you? Like, like there's, they're not all in one um, plane. plane. No. I, I don't think you can go up and down. I think it's just left, right, forward, reverse. And just one button. Uh, Cyrano confirms. It's just one flat plane. Enemy missile shots. Eat snowballs, alien scum. <laughs> yeah, you're throwing snowballs in this game. Big, big snowballs. I like You know snowballs. how they always have, like, um, the one weakness? of the aliens uh, in uh, sci-fi movies. Oh, you did that one really quick. Yeah. Maybe it's not as many when, you, when you're when oh, you sent not. back. So remember, don't go too much left and right because you, it's, things will come on your screen and be like right in your face immediately. Whoa, whoa, that you can thread it real. I guess it's the radar mm -hmm. that really indicates. Okay, that makes it much easier. Um, like in uh, Mars Attacks, it was it was sound. And what was the other, some other um, sci-fi movie? It was like the common cold killed them or something. Oh. Um, this, in this game, it's snowballs. Yeah. Snowballs of death for the aliens. They just can't ah. stand the cold. Whoa, what, what? Ah, 
run away. War of the Worlds, right? Yes. Yeah, I think that's the one where they um, they just die from the common cold. Well, I guess it's advantageous to look for those squares. If you if you happen to be nearby when it pops up. Yeah. I don't know if the chances are very good. At that. Twelve targets left. Getting better. Gamma Dev says, these must be signs aliens. Oh no, our one weakness, the substance that covers 85% of the yeah. planet. I haven't seen that movie, so I'm guessing it's water. It's their, uh, it's their weakness. Everybody get out their squirt guns. <laughs> There's a port of this uh, from the 8-bit on the 5200 as well. Oh, really? Like um, an original? like original run 5200 port or a modern 5200 port oh. apparently they're shooting balls of water <laughs> they're blue balls nice and green i guess grass water whatever they can get their hands on oh, oh. i saw something appear on the right hand side really quick yeah oh the 8-bit version was ported to 5200 okay okay I think that's fairly common for like s smaller games that work on the 5200. I don't know what the limits are for the 5200. That's why the ground is all dirt. Ah, so maybe you're on their planet. Must be. That's why you can shoot snowballs because they're like, we can't have any water around here. <laughs> We're silicon based life forms. Whoa, you no, got him. That he was, was right on top of me. Right in your face. Oh, three Jeez. more to go. Now that you like you know the secret to the space uh, space travel, so I think you can make it to level three. Ah, Ooh, there's one so shield much left. Of it. One shield left. Yeah. I don't know if that means one extra. Or I mean one in reserve or you're on your last one. We'll find out if uh, they programmed it right or they programmed it wrong. Them's the rules. That one means you have one in reserve, not the one you're on. Oh, nice. One Finally. left. How does it play? Good. Yeah. Super fun. Oh, ah! no, no, no. Oh, my God. That was... Okay, you did it. You can stop firing. It's all good now. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of that <sighs> planet. I guess they just can't hit that. Whoa, whoa, they're coming a little faster, some of them. It does seem faster. As it should be. I think it said there's six worlds. Six or eight. Great job. Nice. Oh, it's Snow World. <gasps> snow World. So they, it wasn't snowballs. Maybe, you're, no, you're shooting. <laughs> That'd be funny if it was like, a two-player game and it's oh nice planet whoa oh he was right right on me there the rings on the planet there and a moon if it was like a snowball fight game but first person perspective and you're in a tank shooting snowballs at each other oh my god whoa oh my god. i don't know how you would dodge those oh you gained a shield you must gain a shield every world that is useful oh thank you forgot to change the cartridge Last show too. Terrible. Put a lot of work it's into so, these cartridges. I know you put so much time into the graphics and. Uh... So I don't have cartridge images for these. So. Oh, oh no! Snuck up on <gasps> me. They did it right. You're at shield zero now. I'm dead after this, eh? Yep. This is your last yeah. one. Yeah, Run the away. shots come a lot more busy. Oh, I got it. Oh. They're discussing movies now. Uh-oh, what movies? Oh, what, what movies? Ah! M. Night Shyamalan movies. Ah, signs. Yeah, Village, Lady in Water happening. Oh. I've seen I've one. Seen the Village. I've only seen one of his films. I've seen a couple. I haven't seen a lot of them. Oh. I have to run out. I'll be right back. What's your name? I'll put Tob. Tob, please. Oh, I put T. Oh, well. Guess I pressed the wrong button. I'm just going to play this for a bit, because Tanya did really well. Get him? Yep. 
And Tenya, Tenya gave a very good overview of what this game is about, so. I'll make it to, I'll get past the first um, space scene. I don't wanna try that. There we go. 16 targets, oh, you're dead me right away. Ha 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 ha. Decided to warp in at the wrong place. Oh, it alerts you to the portal immediately before they even come out of it. Interesting. So if you are, you can be quick enough. Oh my god. Oh god, I was just backing up. But, uh, so you can't shoot their bullets? I don't think you can. You just have to outmaneuver them. But the bullets are fairly slow. But you, but they are faster than you, so you do have to move somewhat quickly. So far, it's not too hard on level one, even though I, I did die once. That was my own stupid fault for thinking I could shoot the bullets. Whoa, whoa! Who's firing at me? Ah, uh -huh, you materialized in front of me. A rookie mistake. Again. I love Faceball 2000 with the Game Boy Link. Ah, I haven't played that one. We did play the Pac-Man um, game that hooks up to the GameCube. Oh, I love that game. Where you can play four players yes. on the GameCube and one on the Game Boy. Oh, so, such a good game. Yeah, so good. One person plays Pac-Man. Pac -Man. The others and the, play ghosts, the ghosts. So the, the ghosts can see each other, but they can't see Pac-Man, so they're chasing down. They get a limited view. No, yeah. They get a limited view. They can only see what's in front of them, right? And then Pac-Man yes. can see the everything. Everything. Brilliant. Yeah. Such a fun game. So good. We did so it. So good. At our last. I'll have to bring that out. Retro this year gaming. Again. Yes, it's so good. Since it is Nintendo theme this year. Cat, you were so sad. You were so sad. Pac-Man Versus. It's a That's, classic. Yes. Yeah. So good. Oh, it's such a good game. Got to play with five people. You need it's five so people. so good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, portal time. Ah. If I recall, says oh. Dan ABC, they were planning to have the links connected to Jaguar to be used with <gasps> Alien versus Predator, oh, but that never no. happened. Oh, mm. That's a shame. That would have been a good one. Did they ever release the link up for that? And then did anybody make mm. a, an aftermarket link up? Because, you know, that'd be amazing add-on. Yeah, you can't move too far, you're right. You no. have to just incrementally move and time make sure your field of view is free. Space is, the space is not bad. No. Well, I don't know if it gets harder, but it wasn't So you have to bad. walk out of space into the planet? The Lynx <gasps> was cool. meant to be a motion tracker. Oh, uh -huh. oh, did I just miss my opportunity? Did you? To get into the planet? Did you? I just stood there. Oh, and you have to go, go in. into it. Mm. Do I get to go to the next level? That effect is so cool. Like the Wii U pad. Oh, so you're... Oh, okay, so it interacted with the game, but you weren't playing on the links. Oh, okay, so it wasn't multiplayer I using would, the links. I would really like to get a Wii U. It's one system that we don't have that I have actually okay. never played a game off of. Uh, they're a little expensive right now. I know, now. <laughs> but I've never played a game off of it, and I always thought it was kind of neat. Yeah, there's a couple of good games. We're not. Yeah. I'm not gonna play. Tenya did really well. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> so we don't it need to continue happens. on. But yeah. uh, very good game. <laughs> uh, a little bit different, especially with the space yep. part of it. And uh, dead. <laughs> and dead. Yes. So both of those games will be packaged together mm. at um, Portland Retro Gaming Expo at the Atari Age booth. Nice. Um, as the uh, Nova Gen volume one so thank you so much cyrano j uh lauren staveley for letting us do the uh world premiere of these two games they're super fun mm -hmm. um i think if you liked what you saw you'll like it even more when you play it it's really really great mm. um we're gonna move on to blockum sockum also 
by Cyrano J. There we go. Uh, Lawrence David. Prolific um, uh, programmer. He's, programmer. He's the guy for, um, for, for Jaguar. For Jaguar, yeah. Uh, Roald Strauss did the music for this. Ajay Leal did the graphics. And um, produced by John Hancock. Mm -hmm. um, this was also released uh, first on the Sega Genesis um, by Second Dimension. And it was put out uh, at PRGE 2022 last year. So this one will be out at PRGE 2023. Nice. It's called Blockum Sockum, and it's a puzzle, puzzle-ish game. Okay. A light, a light puzzle light game. Light puzzler. Yeah, I would say light puzzle. Cyrano says, "Raise a glass to the late Paul Wokes." Well, I will. Yes. Cheers. Excellent programmer. Awesome mm -hmm. games. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's load it up, and I'll change the graphics right now, so I don't forget. I can play this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah you okay. can. Yeah, go for it. And even made a, a loading John graph. Hancock. Nice. Okay. Um, Jaguar. So when um, John posted this in the Atari forums, he said, Today, with the help of many of the Jaguar community, we offer you a free game to download and play in your game drive or skunk board. Also works with Big PMU. Uh, with Force GD enabled. So this is available in the Atari Age forums. Anybody uh, likes what they see. Mortal John Ca here Hancock. Comes, and here's our Jack. Second Dimension. Reboot. Push the Hi. button. So this is going to be released through Reboot at Atari Age using nice. the Raptor engine. Nice. So many screens. It's like a movie. Block em, sock em. Uh, I've written that out. 2023. Published by Atari Age. Some games use the Wii U pad with motion and its screen plus TV screen for unique experience. Yeah. And they kind of perfected it with the Switch with the view on there. Um, I would I would go standard. I played easy and it's it's pretty pretty easy. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you have when you have a star block, yeah. you can get rid any of the colors. And when you hit the color, it'll change your block to that color. Now go over to that arrow, and if you throw it, it'll go up and across, and it'll change to a red. Now you mm. want to get the red ones. I get it. Now you want to get the green ones, and you want to get that green oh, one. It'll I change see. to a red, and then you can get the red ones. So your goal is to have at, at least four left, or four or less left after you're done, but you only have four tosses left. So you want to get as many in a toss at once. Oh, Don't I, do I that. kind of get it. Don't get that green. Why not? Because you'll get three if you throw it up to the three green. Yeah, but then it'll turn purple. And then you can get the purples. Then it'll turn yellow. And you can get the yellows. You only have four tosses left. But if I get one green... Oh, I only have four left? Yep. Mm. And you have 13 to get. So don't waste it on one. See, now you can get the purples. Three purples, then you can get three yellows. And then you'll be done, because there's four oh, left. I see. On just exactly oh, the right tosses. Four left. Four oh, or less left. Four yeah. or less. Every time four four or less? Um so goal far. is four. Okay. Goal is four. Gotcha. So I guess exactly four. All those logos would score a point or point or two with uh cinema sins. <laughs> can all the boards be fully cleared? Uh, I'm guessing they can be. Let me have done this right. Ooh, maybe you did. Yeah. Because you have to get the red, I'll turn to green, but now the greens are blocked. You can get that green, and then you still have a green. Ooh. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm probably not this, this, right. uh, this has been the hard work for many people who made this happen. I would first like to thank Adam Welch, Second Dimension, for programming Blockum Sockum, of a joint creation of mine for a hit for his and his for the Sega Genesis. This is a game that will be on other platforms in the future with SNES game being finished and a possible 7800 port as well. I then approached uh, Cyrano J to see if this was possible for the Atari Jaguar. Cyrano J took this project on for free and to offer uh, to the community. Awesome. R. Strauss did the music, J. Leal did the graphics. On top of being a free download for the GD or Skunk boards, I'm also happy to announce that this will be offered on cart in very limited supply. So if you do want this, you will need to go to PRGE or get somebody to go to PRG for you. Um, 
uh, next PRG for a very reasonable price. Albert made this possible and I'm grateful. Later on, it will be offered in the Atari Age store. Okay, so there's an unlimited version too. And I'm delighted to hear that. I also want to thank the playtesters for making this a better game. Uh, Machine, Neo, RG, Sportic, Saturn, Sauron, and A. Gradinu. If I'm saying A. Gradinu right. Um, your goal is to control me. So that's John Hancock at the bottom. <laughs> Um, through 25 different levels to destroy boxes of the same color. Your goal is to get the block counter below the goal number with a limited number of tosses. You still have nine tosses left. Yes, that's true. So I would get yellow because there's tons of yellows. Lots to, oh, lots it just to ends it when you have four, four left. Four gotcha. less left, yeah. It is very cute. Uh, if you toss a colored block and it hits another color, then your block will change to that color. There are three difficulty settings. This is going. This is to be a fun game enjoyed by many, and it was great to offer this to the community to play. Really cool movement. Uh, very fun animations with uh, him just kind of holding the block and running around. Should have gotten the greens. I think you still have enough. Three tosses. Oh, I yeah, easily yeah, do. Easily. You get all of them. Well, you well, can't. You it can't. won't let you. It'll yeah. stop. So I'm sure there's a trick to getting the last four. I wouldn't have been able to get to the next one until I did a full clear, and that's how I had to play Angry Birds, Ricky Bobby style. If you don't get three stars, you get zero stars. I do that with some games. It's like... Okay, I only got three out of four stars. I have to play it again to get the four stars. In some some games you don't get you know the correct ending if you don't um, do it perfectly. Do it perfectly. Uh, uh, you would get that. I can easily get them, but. Oh, I see. I can easily get to four. Oh. Nice. Goal is three. Oh, okay. Yeah, greens next. Just perfectly. Yeah. Movement's quite very polished. smooth, and this appears quite polished. It is. It's very, very smooth. Um, and the animation is great. The artwork is great. So excellent. Uh, oh, that's a nice color. Yes. Now you want to kind of get those greens. Oh, that's row. easy enough. Do you want to get the yellows, the two yellows at least, while you have a yellow. Do I try uh, to get them all? I don't know. Mm, I want to get a green at some point. Jaguar is a 2D monster. Oh, yeah. to get to the to the minimum yeah i think there's probably a trick to getting all of them like you have to leave I don't know. a oh, string leave a of row. four to the end I okay see. this one just screams that there's a very specific Cause way cause there's only two. Ooh, you're probably going to be going green yellow green yellow i can see a green to yellow i think like green is where there. it would start and then it changes to yellow and then you might want to repeat that over and over or stay on the yellows so there's a yellow there yeah and then on the opposite side same one and then you can <sighs> yeah that's a good move and then i would just change to a green after that no, okay. yeah, can we do all the yellows first you have so many tosses left, like way more than you need. So you might be able to clear this one. Well, I don't know oh, about that. Oh, no. What do you mean? Because when you hit the block, it leaves the block on the change of color. I forgot that it does that. Even with the popularity of 3D games at the time, was the Jaguar built such that 2D games could be developed easily on it? Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah, first gen 3D systems, they all wanted to make 3D games. easily going to get it. I'm just not going to get it down, down to, to zero. One. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I think there was a way you could have. I think there was. I one. just, I was like a 12 tosses. Goal is four. Okay. Do a purple. Oh, that changes to green. Okay. Then you can get the green row. And then no. you can get, oh, you can get red first and change to green. Cyrano J says, if you want to make games, check out Jag Studio. There you go. Always more Jaguar developers. Uh, welcome. Yeah. Purple. I'm going to change to that. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a way. My turn. No. <laughs> no. I want to play all the levels. Yeah, it's my game. You wait for your own turn. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm gonna get that. Change to a green. Is there only green? There's an only green. That's a green to yellow. Green to and that yellow. goes green to yellow too. I don't think it matters too much. Uh, let's go for the big one. And that's get that goes, yellow to green. And then I'll just switch back green again. To yellow. Yellow to green. Mm. Or yellow to red if you want. Yeah, do yellow to red. And then that red, red to green. I'll do three. Uh, nope. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Now it's just greens. And then I have to stick. No, that's just not red. Nope. I'm gonna change to purple. Ugh. You can hit one green. Uh, yeah. Like that? Like yeah, those? Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, do yellow and ah. oh purple. You'll get there. I'm getting all the purples. Uh, red or green? Red. I think I'll do red. Yeah. And two reds. Green, purple. Oh. I would have kept the purple and done the other. Actually, you had to switch to green anyway. Yeah. Ugh. Ah. Mm. You want to get that yellow. Oh, because I can't count. it's too late. Well, yeah. I can, but it takes two moves. Yeah. Green. Fight, 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 says <laughs> Cyrano. That's right. <laughs> you kids be quiet. <laughs> Turn this car around. I think maybe there isn't always or maybe ever a way to get them all. I'm sure there's, there's some. I failed. Oh. Beat or retry. Okay. Let's do this better. <laughs> uh, so get the yellow. That one? Yeah. And change to green? And then get the green. And then get, then get this the green. green? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that'll change it to yellow again. Which is fine. And then, no, I would hit that yellow again. Oh, this one? Yeah. And change to green? Change to green, and then go after the greens. And then go after that row of or greens without going. changing it. Okay. And then this one without changing it? Yeah. And then change it to red, red using that same one. Yes. Try and maximize, I guess. Exactly. And then this red. And this red. Mm, you're going to change to green. Green or green? I would do the upper green. And then the green again up. Upper, and then the then green, purple. and then it'll be purple. Which I can clear a bunch of purple out. Yeah. And this. And this. Oh yeah, this is much better. And then that purple. Now you're kind of stuck here. Or you could get the purple at the top. The top? Eh, yeah. yeah, yeah, do it, do it. It's only one, but... But it doesn't matter, because then when you switch to purple, uh... you've cleared all the purple off the screen. The green doesn't help you much. You're going to have to switch it, but I think... Oh, you can get that green at least. And then now you're going to have to... Now should I switch to yellow then to red? Yeah. So do yellow. Then to red. Then red. Then get the red to green. And then... Oh, you did it. There we go. That's pretty optimized. 
<clears throat> okay. Mm. Not many... There's a clear path through the purple. I always look at where there's oh, a clear path. that's a good one. And then that becomes green, which that's... would change you to yellow, and then there's a pretty clear path through the yellow. So go do the green at the far right. Right. That changes to yellow, and then do the yellow st streak at the bottom. Should I do that one yellow? Or... Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Yeah. Now you've got red, you can go one over. And then do purple. And then do purple. Then do green. Yep. And then green again. Oh, no, it got it. And then you've got yellow. We can do yellow again. Yep. Uh, oh. 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 I may have screwed you there. You can get, actually, you can get the green. So if you, you get the yellow. That one? Get that yellow. Then get the green at the top. The green at the top. And get the, the green again. At the top? Yeah. And then get the other green. And then you can get one yellow and you're you're done. Yeah, I guess so. I mean you've made it, but it yeah. didn't really clear it. Is there a path to obtain this yes. game for an emulator? Uh, you can download this from the Atari Age forums mm. and then you can use Big P E M U. Big Pussycat emulator, as in terms of the Jaguar Pussycat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and play it that way. So, mm -hmm. so you can play it on emulation. Start with the red. <laughs> Already, <laughs> I'm like telling James, I'm not do it playing this way. Anymore. No, I'm, you're just, not. I'm just the joystick. Go to the far right, do the yellow. Okay, and then it gets green. And then you get and then the you green. And you get the green and it changes to red. I love patterns. Patterns. Uh, get the red again. Yeah, you might as well. Oh, you're not going to get that red, though. Nope. Not easily. Uh, Is there a time when I had green that I could have got that? Oh, I had to clear this whole thing out. I would, okay, I would turn it to yellow. Here? Yeah. Or, um, there. This Doesn't just matter. changes. It, yeah, changes. It doesn't it. do anything. Get, then get the yellow. This one? This one. And then maybe that upper yellow. And uh, then, oh, there? Yeah. And then get that like yellow. Three tosses left. Oh, I know. This is. And then get the purple. Ooh, this may work. And it changes to green. And then you get the green, and you're gonna win. You're gonna win. Yep. Yep. And then get the green. I think. Yeah. You almost can like barely get it now in the higher levels. Getting it ASAP. Yeah. Ooh, this looks fairly straightforward if you do it in the right order. Hmm. So you don't want to do yellow first, I don't think. Yellow, yellow. There's what? Two purples. Oh! Now how many you have You just the get most? them in order. Yeah? You just have to kind of, not in order, but you have to get them. There's probably a way to screw it up, but. Yeah. You would just do like purple to yellow, so yellow to something else. Like do them in order. So, okay, so you just did purple, yellow, yellow to green. Green to red, red to purple. Yeah. Purple to yellow. Yellow to red, and then red to green. Green. Green, and green to purple. purple. And then you just clear it up. Get all the purples. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Purples first, because you don't have to change. You're not gonna get less. Now then. there's two of each. Yeah, and so. and whatever first two you get one and then you meet met the goal yep. two sauces left should have added a timer yeah uh, mm -hmm. see how fast yeah. you can do it i think you want to get the purple first to yellow oh. to green well or yeah. red red to purple nope. purple, purple to clears yellow out the green which is nice no red to red to purple so do the red first okay yes and then purple to that doesn't rely on anything Purple to yellow, and yellow, yellow to, to green, green, and green to red, and it's done. It's done. Walk oh, off the screen. You need one more red. <laughs> oh, uh, that's fine. Oh, goal is three. Yeah. Ooh. Sometimes it's less. <clears throat> this is fun. I like this game this a lot. Is... This is right at my alley. <laughs> it is. Okay, you can play because you are just telling me what to do. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's I'm okay. Sorry. You're I just, better. I love these games so much. Uh, MRQ file is the graphics that show up in the menu of the Jaguar GD. 
if you watched when I loaded the game, there was um, a vertical strip of graphics on the right hand side. It's not necessary to run the game, but it's like a, a nice graphical enhancement for the menu. The things I learn about Jaguar as I play. <laughs> Oh, and Cyrano follows up. Uh, MRQ also has ROM configuration, data size, EEPROM size, etc. Okay, so it'll have some more information for the and quick uh, for the uh, menu. That's helpful. Yeah, a timer would be good for like a speed run. That an, an like an extra mm. option. Um, yeah, it would just be a simple addition. Uh, I don't know where you, you could probably move things over at the top, maybe. That's a big score. That's an ex extremely large score. How many levels are there? You didn't post how many levels. Hmm. You didn't say. Uh, 25. There we go. Thank you, Cyrano. Otherwise, there's no way to know to size the EEPROM to emulate. Oh, interesting. Actually, that is the way you have to do it. Um, 25. Should we do all 25? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're on our Cause, way there. Because the last game is is quite small. Mm. So might as well do these. And you're kicking ass anyway. To purple, Five. the purple to yellow. Two. Yeah, you kind of forced into... Goal is four left, and there's four colors left. Um, okay, yeah. Two left. Goal is four. Wonder how we they figured out like four. Mm -hmm. Like, is, is it arbitrary or is it like kind of close? Where there's ways to solve it to get to four, but also to two. Almost there. Eight more levels. Eight. Eight more. Mm, there's a yellow option. There's a green option. Oh, I think I did this wrong. I think you might have. Yeah. I think you might have. Eh, keep going. <laughs> Don't ask me. The levels are done when I got it. Yeah, because this came out on um, Genesis first. Uh, well, maybe it'd be okay. Mm. Maybe. Red. The green is useless. Oh, uh, yeah, it is. Oh, no. Change to purple. Yeah, by getting that red. That'll be better. Yellow's useless. Um, red yeah, to green? I change it to red One, oh, oh okay yeah okay purples oh do that then i'll change to red and then you have the one left yeah you made it i, I don't know if that was the best i don't best think that way. was the best but it was very effective at the end though oh here's a more straightforward one so you got purple to red red to yellow yellow to green yeah done just where you are Goals four, and you'll have four left over. And then the green. Very straightforward. That one was. Not in order of difficulty. Not necessarily. Not always. Uh, yellow, red, red, purple, purple. Yeah, just do that again. Seems like spoon fed these, these levels. And then purple to green, and. Yeah. This is see this is the same as another No it's not. It's not exactly different. the same. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Six more levels. Six? Yep. Mm -hmm. Twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Yellow to purple. Yeah, that'll work. Green, yeah. yeah. Once you recognize some things cover other things, then you kind of get a sense which order you need to do them in. 
And you're walking off. But, Triumphant. But, but. Just a black screen on low, but the emulator is super cool. Oh no. Oh, uh, there was a note to it, uh, enable something. Let me just bring up my notes again. Um, uh, force GD enabled. So look in the menu and find Force GD. Oh, there you go. Sierra Nora's already typed it. Faster than me. This is where the programmer just phoned it in. Winky face emoji. <laughs> Uh, this one's a, a little more, but yeah. still not like it's still very straightforward. Maybe yeah. we're just understanding Actually, I it better. Actually, should have done the pink, but that's okay. Pink, it's red. Lights are blinding you. It's pink. <laughs> Try to get this perfectly right eye. Uh, well, yeah. still had two still tosses left. Four more levels. Um, red to yellow is a very obvious one, but and that goes green. And green to yeah, and then the green to purple, and then purple to green again. well. Now you could do green to yellow, but that doesn't sound very effective. I think that one's the right one. And that line of... Yeah. That'll go purple, and then you can move over and then go back to green. Oh, I don't know about this one. Got a lot of tosses left, though. Yellow, and yellow at the top. Oh boy, you have nope. one toss left. Nope. <gasps> fail, oh your first no. fail. Yeah. Uh, go green to purple. purple, and then purple. that purple that goes to the side yeah. that you did. No, 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 not that one. The one you were just on. And that'll clear. No, not that one. Oh, this one. That one. That'll clear for the green ones at least. Um, no. Then you can do that purple. Uh, at least we hear the music longer now. <laughs> More of the music from uh, Mr. Strauss. I think you do need to clear those extra little blocks when you uh, three tosses left. I have six left. I need four. Yay! Yeah. Ooh, that one's a bit weird. A lot of leftovers. <gasps> At least we hear the music longer now, so see now. Because <laughs> we're thinking. Okay. Uh, Yellows. To get that purple row, you need to clear the yellows first. Yeah, I think. And then, yeah, yellows, reds to greens. Yeah. Then, I don't know if you need to do cleanup on this one. No, we don't. Oh. Ah, no! I think I'm going <laughs> to run out of tosses? Yeah, I don't. Maybe not. Maybe close, but I wouldn't do too many of those extra tosses. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? One, two. I'll have one. Nope, left. you can get that rid of that purple one. Do it, do it. That one purple. You can almost clear the board. Almost. Almost one left. Get more points. 
Don't think I've ever played a Jaguar store <laughs> game outside of a store. This is fun. Is the last game available on ROM 2? What was it called? No, those will be available at Portland Retro Gaming Expo on cartridge. What if the optimal play is to leave a single blocks behind rather than clear them in the quest for zero blocks left? It almost feels like perfection is a trap. You can always try on the first level to see if there's any way. It might be possible to clear every board. I would think that it would be set up to do that. Yeah. 24. But you only, but you only had one toss left and you had four still yeah, to go. Yeah, I don't know, but maybe. Last level. I can do it. There's definitely optimi ways to optimize this, so. Yeah. Um, Okay. Yellow's pretty good. You definitely need the yellow to get it clears the, the purple and the green. I always think eight tosses is not a lot, but no. if I Red get this, purple. I'm just going to try it. If I fail, that's fine. I just want to see it's the last level, so. how much of it I can clear. Don't do that because it changed to yellow. No, 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 no. Well, if you want to do perfect. That changes to green. That changes to purple. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> Didn't mean to do oh, that. No. Okay, now it's, it's all good. It's all good. I don't want yellow yet. There's the green. The green gets me back to purple. Yep. And you can do the purple row. It goes to the yellow. Then you can do yellow. I only have one toss the left. The two yellows. I don't want to. I'll pass it, but I feel like I could have done. You don't want to pass? I don't think do, you could, but I don't think you do it perfectly. I just don't think oh, so. Oh, I feel like there's a way. You did it! Yay! Congratulations, all levels completed! Yeah, Yay. you can go for better score. I think that's the key. Yeah. Get through all the So you can levels. reduce it down and do better. Yeah. I don't know if there's a combo bonus, like getting more in a row, or they're just all worth exactly the same. Mm. Nostalgic says, good game! Thank you! Great Your stuff! Princess is in another castle, yes. <laughs> Excellent puzzle game. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. That was going to fall off. No, no, I had it in my hand. Okay. That's all good. Um, beat a reset. Nice. Like that, the immortal John Hancock. I don't know what the difference is between, like, mm. is it different levels? or Fewer, is it I bet it's fewer. Fewer. Nope. Like, is this? Oh, fewer tosses, maybe. Nine tosses, so memorize that board. Okay. Sit through the intro every time. Who did this? <laughs> Was this your decision, sir? Fewer enough? tosses. Oh, okay. So same boards, fewer tosses. Fewer tosses. Okay, that's why there was leftover tosses mm. each time. Plus one, zero, minus uh, one. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Well, there you go, and we'll move on to the next game. Uh, and the next game is Flappy Check-In, yes. which isn't really a game like no? they were on the edge. It is done by Frederick Descharm, okay. uh, Fadist, who did the code, uh, and Zemuz for graphics and sound effects, DMA-SC for music, mm -hmm. but I have to show some things first. Yeah, don't forget the cartridge, flipping the cartridge Thank there. Thank you, I'll do that right now, so I don't forget. Um, okay. So this was the initial post by Fadist. Yesterday I made a little experience uh, again with Jag Studio. My goal is to rework with the tool after last year's experiments get a back to a bit of Jag programming. Best way to do so is I'll work on a tiny prototype with clear objectives. First, let me explain the differences I make between a game and a game prototype. Game prototype has to be barely playable. <laughs> its goal is to demonstrate, val validate a gameplay idea uh, a graphical asset or whatever you want to check whether it can work or not. Yeah. Um, also sometimes called a uh, proof of concept. Yeah. POC. Yeah. Sometimes the proof of concept's not even playable. It's no. more like the screen is set up where it, all the graphics are going at once. Yeah. To know you can stress test it. That, yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. Um, and don't, uh, whether you want to check it out if it works or not, I don't want to spend weeks on it to know. Of course, it'll be not as good as a full game. The code can be crappy. There's no optimization. It's assets or codes. We'll come back on this later. Yeah. <laughs> so once this point is cleared, do not 
expect a full game in this first iteration. Okay. Let's start the journey. Yay. All started with a mail received from itch.io on Tuesday that I've only read yesterday morning. Um, so it was from itch.io by uh, Anzimas. And we'll go over to that. That's way too big. Uh, there. And so Anzimas posted this, which is a... Um, this might be really loud. I remember this was quite loud. A game called Flappy Chicken, mm -hmm. um, which is kind of a mix between Joust and Flappy Bird. Uh, a cute chicken assets and Godot project to boost your game dev. Features three fully animated sprites for the chicken, mm. the chick, and a rotating mind. Two visual effects for player feedback, looped background, a chip to music track, Godot project with code commented. Nice. Feel free to use these assets and code on your own, own game development. Not credit required, but appreciated, mm. which Fadus did give credit. Um, so basically, this is a game that, uh, well, I won't. I won't show it. I'll show it. Oh, the um, <laughs> it 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 is a game, but it's also here's things for you to make a game. Yeah. With so well. you you have the assets to create your own thing with it. That's right. So yes. you can download um, all the graphics and all the accompanying information. So you can see it right here the explosion. Uh, the background, the different chicken animations, mm -hmm. uh, the other rotating mine, mine explodes. So let's go back to here. Anzimus is a great artist providing free and paid assets for developers on itch.io and sometimes he creates simple games to showcase his assets. In this case, it was this release, which includes nearly all needed stuff, background sprites, things I went over with. Alrighty, the game is fun. Reminds me of a Joust, Flappy mm -hmm. Bird, and Co. Uh, I played a bit of the game, thought it'd be nice to use the assets for a Jake prototype, noted nice. some ideas, and downloaded the asset archive. So let's start the fun work. We're <laughs> going to skip over that because he does outline how he made the game um, in Jag Studio, which would be a great uh, thing Intro to read Intro for through. people who want to develop, right? Yeah, Yeah, because he shows how to make a very simple game. Nice. Um, <gasps> there you go. Cute little flappy chicken. Flappy chickens. There you go. Flappy All that Atari. stuff. Yeah, yeah. You're going to flap your, your paws like a bird? So let's get to the game. He He's not sure if it is a game because it's more of a proof of concept, mm -hmm. like he said. But it is playable, and I think it is very fun and should be either developed further developed a little further, yeah. or completed. Um, so let's, uh, let's get into the game. So if you want to load it up... Uh, yeah, as Cyrano posted RC70, check the first post in the sticky ST thread for lots of ROMs to download or go to the Reboot website. Yeah, if you want a lot of fun, free games, uh, Cyrano Jazz uh, posted just, um, you can't go to credits. Credits are there. And it's C or A. I don't know what I mean. Okay. Flap, 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 flap. Flap, oh. flap more. Flap. Oh. Flap. What am I flapping? Top. Oh, it's B. <laughs> yeah, A to start, B to flap. What am I trying to do? Um, you are playing like Joust on the yellow chickens. Not below, hit them from above. Oh, Remember Joust. And then just like in Joust, they turn into eggs, which you collect for points. There's no points. Um, you're trying to clear the screen of all the yellow guys. Now avoid the mines as well. And you can move left and right. You can move all over the screen. No, I can't. Can I go up and down? Try now. Move left and right. There oh, we go. okay. There we go. Oh, oh. Yeah, by mine. And it's so funny uh, when it, you it die. Ju it just like, oh, here comes another chicken. <laughs> and the other chicken just fades away down the screen. Kitty. Were you guys playing on standard mode on Blockham? Yes, because we didn't really know. Nope. We probably would have played on advanced if we knew what <laughs> the difference was. Because advanced just takes away one of the one of the options, and I think you could you could have won the game on advanced. Oh, I. Because so. a lot of the time you had two left over. Oh, I could have. I could have done. 
Never mind one or I would zero. Have, I, I would be more interested in seeing if I could do it with none left and, and working on the levels oh, to see if there was a way of... Like optimizing. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Not very good then, you, <laughs> then you would have got the uh, top score. So, top possible score. are these chicks? He's just, like, knocking the little baby chicks out of back the sky? In, yeah, knocking He's them like, back into Get eggs. Get back! Get, Get back! Get back into your eggs! You're too young. You're too young to fly in this forest. you got to be incubated a little bit longer. Remember, you can go left and right. Oh, I always forget. Sorry. <laughs> it kind of works if you're just staying in the middle. But, oh, oh right into the mine. Oh. My turn. <laughs> it's so cute. It does get, it get harder. easier as you, as it eliminates some enemies. Yeah. Starts hard and gets. I don't know because you have to get it into does. the mines after. Uh, Why do you die instantly? It's so funny. Oh, it's yeah. Because you kind of get into the so mines cute. after a while. It is like joust and Flappy Bird, like mixed together. Yeah, because there's the flapping, game. which joust has flapping anyway. I think it gets it's harder so as you get cute. down because you have to deal with more mines. Uh, yeah, it does. Like you have to avoid you have to dodge them. They come fairly regularly. Like so. there's no room. Yeah. There's no room to maneuver once you're down. Well, I got rid of that because I ran into it. How cute. Super cute. So cute. Oh god, why? No! What am I gonna do? I'm gonna go right after. Get these eggs off the screen. Driving me crazy. Give me your eggs. You could actually have it do the exact opposite, which oh. is you, you crack the eggs yes. from above and have the chicks release, Fly and around. then you have to capture the chicks. I think that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than knock the chicks into eggs. But he's thinking about um, jets. But it's cute. This thing about the way joust works? Yes, I understand that. Yeah. I do understand that. But actually, it would, it would work logically, logically better. And, and the other a, way, And a it would put bit. a spin on joust. Yeah. Uh, so you're not directly, like, copying it. Yeah. Now I have to navigate this crazy minefield. Come on. No, they keep disappearing every time I go in. Come on. Come on. Oh, now they're just moving. There's nobody to bump up against. Oh, God. How am I going to get them like this? Ah! Oh no! I got rid of. Take some out. Did I get rid of one? Yeah, I think you did. Oh, I did. Okay, now I can do it. Oh. oh! Last guy, I think. I don't know. Lives one. Yeah. Got one more. Pretty clear now. One more. Just gotta dodge two mines there. Yeah! Flappy chicken! Winner, winner! Chicken dinner. <gasps> no. No. No, you're saving the chickens. Mock chicken dinner. Now you have to win. Me? Oh. It's 5 a.m. Pseudographics. Good night, Pseudographics. Good night. <laughs> Thanks for it's tuning in. Nice. Oh. Death Sorry. immediately. I don't think you can avoid that. No. It's just like something that it, it calls the death loop immediately. I don't know. Good game. Thank you, Nostalgic. Oh, too long. Beat Flappy Chicken. <laughs> I did. Can you beat the other game and I beat Flappy Chicken? Oh, oh, you're getting too into the mines. I know. But I have to get the ones. Well, you gotta be so careful. Remember, you can move left and right. You kind of have to, like... Oh, keep forgetting I can move left and right. Let me try that one more time. Oh, come on! Immediate, immediate Maybe death. Maybe you can avoid that death by, like, A, B, 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 right away. Try it, try it. Just die. Die, die, die. Okay, A and then B immediately. No. Yeah, you can. No, you still have four lives. What? But I didn't die. You did. The thing went down the screen. It started in the middle of the screen? Yes, and you died did. immediately. Yeah, you're right. Maybe there's a mine that's placed right there immediately? I'm not sure. Nice. I mean... You can clear out three more of those mines accidentally and still survive, or two at least. It's like, um, it's so hard uh, to, to do it there, without clearing the mines. It is. So as long as you don't die on the chickens, you'll be able to clear out some of those mines accidentally. Try not to, of course. Oh, 
Oh no, you died on a chicken. No, it's okay. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> I'm not very good at joust either, to be joust entirely is hard. honest. It's not my best. See, they're all. It's not like a good puzzle game. <laughs> Um, I think Puzzle another game. thing that could be done with this game is make the chickens a different speed than the mines. Well, yeah, because, like, this Cause... mine comes out at the same speed as that chicken. I do not know how I get that chicken without taking that mine out. Do you see that mine? Yeah, it's almost How? Impulse. How? I can't float down fast enough. Because you're the and same speed. And if I hit him, yeah. yeah, I hit the mine. You're the same speed as the mine as well. <laughs> like, everything's the same speed, left and right. Yeah, sorry. So you have to... <laughs> Keep Should going. Try one. Once more. Oh my goodness. He does start in the middle. Yeah. Oh, I see. So oh. he hits he hits the mine right away. He, he hits the mine immediately. Unfortunately. Remember left and right. Oh, I always forget that. I think it's like Flappy Bird. <laughs> that's right. Just a Flappy Bird only has one button. Not even up and down. Well, yeah, that's what you're doing, right? Yeah. Just the one button. I mean, you can play it as a one button game. You can, for harder, for uh, a harder game. Oh, well, you only have one hand free. True. Oh. You, you've got a drink in your hand, you can play uh, Flappy Chicken. Flappy Chicken. Exactly. Oh, just terrible. No, it's okay. You can win this one. I'm going to win it without. One handed. With no, a drink in your you hand. You die immediately. You do. Yeah. Oh my god, that was terrible. Beat Flappy Chicken low, <laughs> says Metal Lunar. <laughs> I'm gonna do it with one button. Not even moving left and right. I don't think it's possible, but... This is gonna be some timing issues. It's not gonna be possible. With that, with that bird that's in the, the first bird down, at this horizontal position, it crosses where the mine is, mm. so... Well, actually, if I die on the right mine and use up one of my lives, I can do it. Well, there's another one that does it. Oh, maybe I can do it on the... right here. No, no. One more. Nope. Oh no! I didn't clear the mine. I hit nope. the bottom of something. You hit a you hit a chicken. Oh. oh no! Oh no! You're trying to flappy bird it. Oh, I did it! I got the extra life. Did you? Five. Oh, good job. Somehow things were aligned. That you didn't hit it immediately. Yep. One button. One button. Oh, this is a worse play field than before. Is this hard? So what if you took out all the mines you could and then just tried to get all the chickens with the one life? Well, that would be easier. You know, if you accidentally get a couple chickens in there, that's great. But what happened to okay, I want you to try that next time. Okay, well, I'm going to die because I'm doing it. Okay. Oh. I'll just take them out Take in them a row. out in a row, yeah. And then when you're down to one, just do what you can. And there's another one gone. No! Ah! Oh, I need the all no, five lives. No, no, you need to, yeah. I need all five lives. Okay. Ah! No, no, don't go up. Oh, don't go up immediately? Yeah, try going down a little bit first. I was playing Final Fantasy on Switch one handed one day. Turn-based part PGs are good like that. Mm. Nope. Didn't do it. How, how was it? I don't know how you no. did that. Yeah. I don't know how I got it that first time. Damn it. You got one. No, you got it. It was a mine. Ah! That's second mine. No, no, just get all the mines. Those aren't lives in reserve. I have one life left. Two lives. Uh, two, but on the second one I die. And the gets game over. There you go. So no, you have I, one left. So you have three. This is my last. Life. Yeah. Yeah, you have too many mines. Might be able to do it. No, 
Nope, that guy's timed up with the... He's timed up with the mine! <laughs> How are you supposed to get him? It's impossible. You can't. You just can't get that guy. Ah, almost covered. Ah! Ask you made that one-handed RP one-handed RPG controller back in the day for the PlayStation. Mm. It was five wires. I don't know how it's possible. I don't know how you did it. I don't know. Just lucky. It is randomized. The board. Is it? Yeah. Because oh, no. there's there's three guys in a row here. Yeah. I think you need to take out that lowest mine. The, the second, one? the second to lowest. Oh, you got that one at least. One life left. Uh, no, I don't know how you did it. I honestly don't know how you did it. I need to reserve my lives mm -hmm. for ones that are. I was just thinking about that controller today because I started playing Final Fantasy, Fantasy VII again and I've got hundreds of hours on that controller. Oh, and the one-handed controller? Wow. Ah! Oh, didn't need to die on that one. Oh, I do need to die on this one. It's that bottom, the second to... No! Oh. Oh. You still might be able to get that guy, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think I can. And I can get those too. It's gonna be hard to leave it to last. Ooh, can I get this guy there? I don't think I can. I think you have to move to the side to get him. Oh, you got, got him. him! Got him. One more. Ah! <gasps> yeah! Good job! One button! Victory! <laughs> <sighs> well, I think we've squeezed all the joy that we can out of flappy all chicken. the gameplay out of flappy chicken yeah. we can <laughs> played it without moving left to right nice oh my goodness <laughs> strategically using my lives to clear mines that's right yeah i earned the patch thank you metal lunar yay, <laughs> yay the flappy chicken patch <laughs> i think that's a really good game yeah. That can be developed further, like yeah. adding other things in or... Starting slower, ramping up in levels. Yep, less mines. Fewer mines to start with, more mines later on. Yeah, yeah. Even throw in, I don't know, some other kind of... Enemy. Enemy. That, like, doesn't follow that pattern, like moves freely like around the screen. Like one turns into a, a gold egg and it goes around and it'll, it'll get you. Deadly ya. gold egg, a yeah. deadly gold egg. It'll hit the chicken. Yeah, really... Try blindfolded. <laughs> Blind. Yeah, there's yeah. no audio cues, so I don't think that's going to work. Uh, lots of fun games today yes. with the world premiere Black Backlash and Encounter. Both really fun mm -hmm. 2D planar first person view shooters. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be a great double, uh, double game cartridge. Available at PRGE coming up. Looking yes. forward to that. Yeah. Oc middle of October. Yep. Uh, how, mu how much longer now? Uh, so how much we're July, longer now? Yep. August, September, October. Three months? Three months? Two and a half. Two and a half. Almost wow. time. It's okay. almost time. Summer's going That's by That's why things really are fast. ramping up. Yeah. Then we play Blockem Sockem. Tanya won that game no, on uh, on that's normal okay. mode. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, very fun. Yeah. Uh, Stress-free game. Simple S puzzle. Fun, simple puzzle game. Mm-hmm. And uh, Flappy Chicken, a very good start. I think that could be developed into a really fun game. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you're very welcome, Redred Ghost and Dan and Nostalgic. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a lot fun fun show as well. Um, so for the next episode, uh, we have quite a big show, actually. Uh, we will have Atari on the show, not the cat. He's Somebody from Atari will be on the show. Yes. Um, we're going to be having uh, a live interview with David Page. There we go. It's not this bigger. 
There we go. Right here, Atari VCS Homebrew Special. Uh, yeah, it's the lawyers. They're coming after me. <laughs> um, a live interview with David Page from the Atari VCS Marketing and Development Department. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about homebrew on the Atari VCS. Nice. Because some of our community members yeah. have homebrew on, on the, the Atari VCS. VCS. Yeah. Including Dion Olsthorn, Dionoid, who we'll also be talking to. Mm -hmm. um, because he has his games, Tower of Rubble and Amoeba Jump. Both great games. And uh, we were going to talk to Bob DiCrescenzo, but he's unable to make it, unfortunately. Um, he wanted to make it, but he had he's something busy. else going on. Yeah. Um, I also reached out to John Hancock, mm -hmm. who has some games on the Atari VCS, but he is at uh, a gaming conference. Yeah. <laughs> so he's uh, not able to, he's make, not it able to make it yeah. either as well. Um, but he said he would love to come on another show. So uh, when we fun. can have him on another show, that'd yeah. be awesome. Um, uh, yeah, so we're going to be taking a look at uh, the Atari VCS, mm -hmm. discussing with Atari um, homebrew on mm -hmm. the VCS, where it's at right now, where they'd like to see it in the future, opportunities for Atari age community members. Yeah to get their games on the Atari, nice. just like Dion and Bob DiCrescenzo did. Mm -hmm. And other people coming up, maybe, Excellent. maybe, possibly, yeah. that I might know about. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh. Yep. Um, yeah. And uh, we'll talk about all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to post a thread on the Zero Page Homebrew Club. And I'll point to it from the Zero Page Homebrew Club. Um, normal thread where you can put your questions in for Atari um, for David Page uh, asking about homebrew and the Atari VCS and uh, you know concerns questions mm -hmm. hopes dreams anything <laughs> like that um, it'll be great to get um, your guys uh, questions to them mm -hmm. and this is your opportunity to ask them about that and uh yeah it'll be a lot of fun and uh erlen will be here to oh, join us excellent so erlen will be playing the games yes <laughs> well yeah. uh well i you did the interview yeah. nice so Good. that'll be a lot of fun and uh coming up after that uh we'll be doing at some point a live interview with eduardo mello from opcode games mm. who um releases uh coleco vision games We'll be uh, plugging in the Super Game module into the ColecoVision and playing some of his brand new Coleco games. Don't have an exact date for that yet. Hopefully soon. And uh, also, of course, the 7800 Game Drive special with a live interview with James Bolton, Saint of Retro HQ. Mm -hmm. And we'll be discussing homebrew on the 7800 game drive and by yes. that time possibly some of you guys are will already have it yeah and uh we'll be running some putting it through its paces on some more challenging homebrew from the 7800 mm. and uh seeing how it handles that um don't have a date for that yet um we were going to wait for this initial batch to go out make sure it was all working nicely and then we'll showcase it um fully nice yeah That'll be good. That'll be a lot of fun. Got you some games. Yeah. So after next Tuesday, we might be doing a 7800 day. Okay. Might be a Lynx day. Might be an Atari 8-bit day. One of those. Nice. Um, probably not a 2600 because we just did two in a row before that. Yeah. <clears throat> so thank you. Oh, did I switch to it? Did I, was I just speaking about it, not showing it? Anyway. No, that's okay. There you go. I, you. I said it. Yeah, so this Friday, definitely tune in. Uh, it'll be fun. Mm -hmm. I dare you to do two different consoles. No, his oh, head would it's explode. A pain. I, I mean, I can because <laughs> I have two spots for it. It's quite easy That's to switch. That's true. You can do that. Yeah. Um, three is a three bit more challenging. I'd have to put it on the floor or swap it out. It's not too bad because I have them already on the shelves. It's just a kind of a pain for me. <laughs> yeah. I, I try and organize it by day. 
Yeah, it makes it a little easier. It just right? makes it easier for me. I just yeah. have to reboot, reboot, yeah. load the next one. Don't have to fiddle with controllers. Well, if you have to plug and unplug things, I don't know if that happens, but that's when things go wrong. E yeah. You test it and it works fine, and then you do it live, and then the whole thing falls apart. So Usually it does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to push things too hard. No. Um, thank you for tuning in. Mm -hmm. It was a very fun day. Thank a you. Fun. Huge great thank games. you to Cyrano J. Great, great, great games. And John Hancock as yeah. well. Um, Cyrano J for making three out of the four games we uh, played today. And to everybody in the chat who stuck with us. Oh, uh, and the black kitten. And the black kitten. Who just showed up again. And uh, double down for the joystick. Yes. How did you like the joystick? Excellent. Yes. Wonderful. The buttons are really, great. Really, really good. The joystick is nice and clicky. Yes. How I like it. Yes. It was very precise in the directions. Yes. I think. I mean, we didn't have a four-way game. That's the challenge for you. Yeah, you have, I'm you terrible have some with trouble four with four way games. Because I'm not too precise with my, my movement. Yeah. yeah. But it was nice and clicky. I found it the. Was um, it was really good. Yeah, very nice and clicky. Very obvious where you are on the yeah. joysticks, especially in the corners. I really like that. The corners are really like, good. Like, there's really good tactile feedback from it. Yeah. I really like it. Yeah. And um, yeah, the buttons. Good. are nice and clicky yeah um good travel on them as well i do like the physical plastic buttons for the the they're small the they're out of the way yeah very yeah. nice yeah uh joystick yeah. is very turnable tunable tunable <laughs> with extra parts available yeah. yeah so if you're if you don't like the joystick if you don't like the buttons you can replace them with exactly the same size buttons mm -hmm. um we didn't have spinner games today but this does have a spinner on it um, so, uh, and a little button to switch to back and forth of the spinner, so. Scraping a bit. Mm. I'll have to look at that when I open it up. But yeah, micro switches, springs, restrictor, restrictor gates. Enough room to face roll. Like, <laughs> like with your face? <laughs> like, I don't know what a face roll is. <laughs> Kitten, what's a face roll? You just go. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, you can move things with your face. No, no, the the, the spinner maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah. I'm very yeah. confused. Yeah, lots lots of room for face rolling. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> for, for fighters. Fighters. Okay. What? Okay. Um, <laughs> thanks for tuning in, everyone. Yes, as you imagined. Oh, okay. You uh, literally right. face roll. Rolling it off your face. Funny. Nice. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, old Style, VVG Double Down, Atari 2600 Dude, Rendered Ghost, Nostalgic, Metal Lunar, Dan AVC, uh, Pseudo Graphics. Hey, 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 hey. Cyrano. Thank you for following Chili Neps. <laughs> uh, Cyrano, of course, huge shout out to Cyrano. Uh, who else? Ivory Tower Amadev. Collections. Pseudo Graphics, hey. who went, went to bed because it was 5 a.m. there. Um, um there lots of people at the top of the hour too. Rod Castler. Uh, hi kittens. Uh, Mr. Zarnawoop. Mr. Oh, Zarnawoop. Buffalo we, Pinball. And we hit the top. Oh, scroll back down. So um tune in on Friday. Yes. That's our next show. Erin will be here, big show. show. Atari will be here. Cats with, will be back. With Atari. With Atari. There'll be two Ataris. Yeah. At three Ataris, because there'll be a, a console, yep. a cat, and a person. Very nice. And a sprite. And a sprite. Well. Um, so it'll be lots of fun. So we'll see you on Friday. <laughs> Have a great week. Have a good and, week. And uh, stay cool out there. Yeah. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. -bye.